the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right side of the brain controls the left side. Both brains are responsible for different activities. Left brain is accountable for thinking, calculating, analyzing, numbers and logic. Right brain is responsible for creativity, music, drama, arts and things like that. Assuming majority of us are right-handed, we only use one hand to perform major of the activities throughout the day like writing, eating, holding, playing etc. No wonder from ages, qualities related to left brain like calculation, numbers, logic is valued more. In today's world, creativity has a lot of weightage which is directly associated with the right brain. Restricting a child from using left hand is restricting the creativity in your child. Our left and right brains are connected to each other by corpus callosum, a highly complex switching system with over 300 million neuron connections. Restricting a child from using left hand is restricting the neuron connection between the two brains. Inspire your child to use both hands and legs. This way, the entire brain can be stimulated. Simple techniques like asking a child with the dominant right hand to use left hand to conduct some of the daily routine activities like brushing the teeth etc. can also make a huge difference. The primary goal of parenting is to provide conducive environment to children so that they can choose, make decisions, experiment, learn and establish themselves. To develop their senses and brain stimulation, it's important to let your kids explore. Few of the easy and the important stimulation techniques are it's no surprise that exercise and sports has an array of physical and mental benefits for a child. But surprisingly, football is considered as one of the most important sports for brain development of teenage kids and toddlers. It helps in improving cognitive skills, agility, balance, coordination, movement, speed and endurance. A big aspect of any sport is that it forces decision making in complicated or high stress situations. Running for long period, quick change in speed, multi-directional running, sprinting, anything you think of, football has it. It is a good idea to introduce football to your child from the age of 2. A number of experiments have proved that all plants and animals react to different kinds of music. The Indian classical vocal music is the highest form of stimulation to the brain and exposure to the same will naturally produce an intelligent child. An apt music can also take your child to the state of meditation. Researchers have showcased that listening to Sanskrit shlokas at the early stage can stimulate the brain to boundless extent. Introduce them to spices early. Early offering of mild spices can really help unleash your baby's taste buds and encourage them to have more adventurous food. Children love to experiment and cooking is the best form of experiment. Let your child be in kitchen and allow them to smell and explore spices like clove, cardamom, cinnamon. This will trigger the sense of smell and taste. Introduction to artificial flavors like sugar, salt at early stage can decrease the child's capability to explore other foods and spices. Mess is fun. Allow your toddlers to have food on their own and encourage them to make a mess out of it. Let them witness the texture of the food. Ask questions to stimulate thinking process. After your child watches a movie or a show, ask them to narrate the story. Intelligence is about processing and gathering information. 
This technique will help in improving the thinking process of a child. There's a place known as Solomon Islands near Australia where if the local tribes want to cut any tree, they don't chop it. Instead, they simply surround the tree and shout and abuse the tree. Surprisingly, the tree falls off in few days. The negative energy damages the tree's life energy and the tree collapses on its own. The same happens to our children. Like a floret, if a child is pressurized, criticized, nagged all the time, then the child is definitely going to wilt. The three C's, correcting, criticizing and controlling will make the child lose his confidence in long run. Always remember, your children will become who you are, so be who you want them to be. Your child learns every single bit from you. If you scold him, he will learn how to scold. If you love her, she will learn how to love. Your child is your reflection.